Good evening. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It is going to be Friday morning because I'm doing Friday show on Thursday night. I have to be to work early tomorrow, but I did not want to miss keeping us up to date on the minerals that the body needs. And so tonight I want to say, hey, everybody. I hope everybody's having a pretty good week. It's been quite um, busy, quite interesting this week. And I have to just make sure that I keep up with the things that I have committed myself to. How about you? Good evening, everybody. Listen, I am going to make um, probably one of my favorite juices, but I'm going to give us some information about one of the ingredients. So today we're going to. Um, juice and I have it in here and we're going to juice raspberries. You see that I have uh, two small packages or, or one large pack. Let me see if I have this. Mm -hmm. um, or one large pack of strawberries and I'm going to go ahead and put those in and um, just go on with the show. But I'm doing raspberries. I am doing one pineapple. I am doing, um, let's see, a lemon. I am doing two grapefruits. So to me, it's more like a tropical fruit, but I want to tell y'all that the lemons, um, like I've said before in other episodes, the lemons have what is called delimonene, delimonene in it. And that is part of the essential oils that come out of the skin of the lemon. So that's what we're going to um, focus, put our focus on today so far as, because it is, um, you know, you can get that in supplement form, but the best way to get your nutrients is really from food. I know sometimes we want supplements because they're quicker to take, but um, we have to be sure that we get those supplements in our foods. I'm taking my time to go through the raspberries. I have rinsed them off, but I do want to make sure that I put the best ones in this juice. And so that's probably coming out to be, um, yeah, one full package of raspberries instead of two. I'm not going to put them all in there, but I did rinse them. And then I'm going to put, I am doing two grapefruits. So this is more of a citrusy, tropical kind of thing going on in here. I'm going to put them all in there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go ahead and put both of those. But I'm looking forward to tasting this because I think it's going to be a pretty refreshing drink. Right, guys? I am using a Nama juicer. Hey, y'all, thank you for subscribing. I do want to say hello to um, Sister Hampton because she... Um, she sells Avon, but she also sells paparazzi jewelry. Um, and I want to do a shout out to her because I love the Avon lotion. And so she's the Avon lady. And she brought me my Avon to my shop yesterday. But you know what she told me? She said, I watch you every day. And I was so blown away from that. Like, oh my gosh, this lady with her schedule watches me every day and she blessed me and i want to tell y'all something else too um that she told me well i hadn't seen her you know just in passing i've seen her but never spent any time to really look at her this lady um had she broke her leg some years back and what she said she had so much weight on her that she wouldn't have been able to heal properly with the amount of weight on her so she decided by the power of almighty god and this is she blessed me I'm putting the pineapples in now, guys. But she really blessed me because um, she said I had to change my diet. And she decided to start eating healthily. And I know she's lost. She looked like to me she's lost about 20, 25 pounds. It might be more. But I told her, I said, you look fabulous because she just looked like... Um, she actually was enjoying being the size that she was. And I can imagine, but her leg has healed. 
she was being real frisky because her husband was with her. But I want to do a shout out. Hey, Lady Hampton, thank you so much for coming and being a blessing to me um, on yesterday, not only with the Avon, but telling me what your journey was like, that you had to change some things about yourself. And, you know, I guess she's a pescatarian, if that's what that's called, a person who um, eats fish and fresh fruits and vegetables. She's already uh, started her garden and she started naming off the vegetables that she has in her garden. So I was really excited to hear this lady changed her life and she changed it with eating clean, changed it with everything that God has left in the earth for us to have a better quality of life. So with that being said, now I am almost done with the juice. And again, we are using the Nama juicer. I'm going to put that in the sink and rinse my hands off because, you know, um, the sugar in the pineapple can make your hands a little bit slick. And I hope I'm recording, too. So we're already at six minutes and this juice is almost done. But I want to tell you all the benefits of what we have. And then we're going to talk about um, ah, what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about the minerals tonight. We're going to talk about trace minerals or this morning, whenever you watch it, we're going to talk about trace minerals. And I'm doing that so that we can understand the components of the body. And I'm going to get something else, too, because I wanted to talk about that on today. I'm going to keep my ooh, gonna keep my microphone on so that I can continue to talk. The pineapples do put out a lot of liquid. And um, I want to tell you all, because, you know, we hear this term a lot and I wanted to discuss it. But we hear the term immune system a lot. I talk about the immune system, and especially when it comes to people who are diagnosed with cancer, one of the things that happens when you are diagnosed with cancer is the um, if you opt to do chemo, chemo actually um, destroys the immune system. So basically, you don't have a defense system in your body, right? Look at the juice, y'all. It's already ready. And the, uh, I really can smell the grapefruit as the dominating factor here. So that's done. Juice is ready. Isn't that wonderful? At seven minutes. So listen, I do, you know, I always ask the Lord, what are we talking about today, Father? So while that's in there, I'm going to go ahead and stir that and taste it. And then I'm going to move forward. And hopefully we won't have too long of a show today, right? That looks yummy. The Nama juice, it does, the juice has a thickness to it and I'm okay with it um, because I'm accustomed to it now and I really enjoy the Nama. It is in the description box. Hey subscribers, it is in the description box. Um, go in there and I even um, put a cookbook in the description box and it's with, um, let me see if I can see it from here on my shelf, but I know it's Kate and somebody because it's a lady and her dog. Um, and I guess that's her little buddy, but she cooks while he's sitting in the kitchen watching her. So I'm going to taste this juice first, and then we're going to go, we're going to talk about the immune system because we need to know what that consists of. Mm. Oh, I love it. Pineapple, you can taste all of it. You can taste the lemon, the tartness of the lemon, the tartness of the grapefruit. The sweetness of the pineapple, but it is so refreshing, guys. So get you some raspberries, pineapples, grapefruit, and lemons for your summer beverage, and especially when you have company coming over. Congre I want to say congratulations to all the 2023 graduates. My grandson, Jelani, graduated a um, couple of uh, Sundays ago, and I'm very proud of him. Full ride to um, the college of his choice. And I'm excited for him. He's going into cybersecurity. So I'm really proud of you doing a shout out to the class of 2023, Raya. Um, my niece graduates this Sunday, and I'm really, really proud of her. I'm proud of both of them for sticking it out because from my understanding, there are a lot of bullies in school, and um, but they, they pushed in, they made it through. So I'm really excited about their journey um, crossing over into 
the adult world. So I love you guys. I love you, Delani. I love you, Raya. So proud of y'all. So I'm going to drink some more of this because it's really good. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. That is amazing. Okay. So talking about the immune system. Well, when we talk about the immune system, it is the inner workings of the body, which is what we try to protect or what we are protecting when we eat clean. So listen at this, what they're saying. Um, uh, let's see if I can get the pictures up here. Mm -hmm. What is the immune system? Your immune system is a large network of organs, white blood cells, proteins, antibodies, and chemicals. This system works together to protect you from foreign invaders, bacteria, viruses, parasites, and fungi that cause infection, illness, and disease. Listen, if I can see that. Okay, so this is part of the immune system, y'all. Your adenoids, your tonsils, the um, lymph nodes, the neck lymph nodes, the armpit lymph nodes, the thoriac, the thoracic duct connection to the bloodstream, the thymus gland, your spleen, your small intestine, Peyer's patch, um, that's in the intestines, growing lymph nodes, bone marrow, and the appendix. This is a part of your immune system. So that immune system is all of the points because it does have the tonsils in there, right? Yeah. So, and the adenoids. So all of that that's in here. So because anything that we put in our mouth, it hits the tonsils are right there in the back of our throat. So that, those tonsils are there as the first line of defense. That's a part of our immune system. It basically is giving us immunity against any sickness, any disease coming through the pathway of the mouth, right? That's why I said the other day, think about, be intentional about what you're going to put in your mouth. I know um, yesterday and today for lunch, I took my lunch and I found out one of the things that we can get some of the minerals from is uh, tomatoes. And so I got some tomatoes for my husband and myself. Nice red tomatoes. They they always smell good. You can always tell, mm, you can smell vegetables from where they've been um, picked. And so you can do the same with fruit too, because I know with my watermelon and cantaloupe, I, I love to smell the cantaloupe when I'm in the store. So anyway, guys, um, the immune system. Let's see what else there is about the immune system that we need to know. Because I think that it's very important that we understand the body that we're trying to take care of. This is our responsibility, right? God gave us this extraordinary piece of equipment and he said, I want you to be stewards over that. So what I'm trying to do is help us to get an understanding. And I wanna say to you all, if you are part of a local church would you please ask your pastors, even if I'm not the one that's invited to come and speak, but would y'all please ask your pastors or leaders or who's over new members class, can, won't you suggest, can we add a nutrition class to the new members class so that people that are coming into the body of Christ, your new converts class, your new believers class, people that are coming into the body of Christ who are giving their life to Christ, they could have a new understanding of not only is my spirit being renewed, being born again, but what about my understanding of the body that God gave us? What about learning something about that? Wouldn't that be exciting? I know we were supposed to learn about it in health class when we were in school. I know they taught it when I was in school, but who really paid attention to that? Who thought it was important? Maybe somebody that already knew that they were going to school to be a doctor or a nurse or somebody that was going into the medical field. I certainly did not pay attention um, in the science class. Uh, I'm not in the science, but in the PE and health class with Miss Nelson. 
um, didn't pay any attention to that. So anyway, guys, but now cancer got my attention and I wanted to know how did this get in my body? And so now we're learning about the immune system and how to protect the immune system so that sickness and disease can't come in because that's really what we're doing. We're protecting our immune system. So listen, your immune system works hard to keep you healthy. Its job is to keep germs out of your body, destroy them, or limit the extent of damage if they do get in. When your immune system is working properly, it can tell which cells are yours and which substances are foreign to your body. It activates, mobilizes, attacks, and kills foreign invader germs that can cause you harm. Your immune system learns about germs after you've been, I believe that word might be because I got that staple, exposed to them. Your body develops <coughs> antibodies to protect you from those specific germs. An example of this concept occurs when you get a vaccine. So um, your immune system builds up antibodies to foreign cells. So now this one, this um, piece of research that I did about the immune system, they want to tell you about vaccination that, listen, when they put, let's say COVID, when they um, gave the COVID vaccine, they actually put the germ of COVID into the body to make your body fight off and its immune system if you had a strong immune system. If your immune system was intact, it would go in and kill off to make the body familiar so that whenever it came in contact with those germs, it would already have its defense up. That's what making sure we take care of our bodies will do. Not only will it do it with COVID, but the body is made to heal itself because the body, we were born with the immune system already in place. God is so brilliant. That's why I love him. And that's why when I'm around people who want to, you know, say, I don't believe in God, all of those things, my heart goes out to them because they weren't exposed. The information that they got wasn't um, information that could help them to do better in life. I'm talking about when hard times come. What do you do? If you don't believe in God who created you, when hard times come, who do you really go to? Because nobody understands 100% what you're dealing with, what you may be dealing with right now. Somebody is not feeling well today. Somebody has had a hit or somebody has passed or somebody is dealing with something that they don't know how to process. And I'm telling you, that's where the spirit of God comes in. I call him the spirit of truth, my best friend, because he understands me inside and out and will tell me and pull out things from inside of me that I didn't even know were there to help me to accept it's okay. And I'm with you here, right? So that's what, um, that's the part of the immune system. Do I want to go any deeper into that? I will just a little bit. So listen at this. Your immune system is made up of a complex collection, complex collection of cells and organs. They all work together to protect you from germs and help you get better when you are sick. The main parts of the immune system are the white blood cells. Now think about this, because remember, I was diagnosed with cancer. One of the things that I found out with a lot of people, once they do take chemo, their biggest concern is that their white blood cells, their white blood cell count is low. Well, when you take the chemo, the chemo is destroying your immune system. So when the doctor tells you, well, you're um, after you've been, you know, taking the chemo and the doctor tells you, well, your white blood cell counts are low. Well, that informed decision that this show is about. But you knew that when I got chemo, that it would affect my white blood cells. So now you're telling me my white blood cells are low. Chemo destroys the body's defense system. Chemo destroys the body's ability to heal itself. Chemotherapy, chemical therapy destroys the white blood cell count. Now, if you're, if you have not, and that's why I recommend anybody that's about to take chemo, 
and I don't know how I got over here, but I'm going. Um, anybody that's about to take chemo, I said this the other day, the cancer has been in your body for a while, but the test showed up now. So it's no need to panic. Don't, don't, whatever you do, please do not panic. Take a deep breath. Calm down. Let's think about this now. Think about it. The cancer didn't just come on you today and the doctor found it today. It's been there. So why not? Let's do some, some maintenance. Let's, let's backtrack. Let's find out what have we been eating or have we, do we work around a lot of chemicals that's caused the cancer to attack the cells? What we don't want to do is attack the cells more with the chemical of chemotherapy. I'm not saying don't do chemotherapy, but what I am saying is start eating whole foods, nutritious foods, fruits, vegetables, seeds, nuts, beans, lentils, grains, meat, eat, eat, cut out the junk, cut out the sugar. And I'm not talking about sugar that comes in fresh fruit juices because all of that has minerals and enzymes and nutrients in it, vitamins in it that are going to feed the body what it needs. So I'm telling y'all, we have to be informed. I like being informed because nobody can come to me and say, oh my gosh, you know, so-and-so and so is on chemo. And now they're saying her white blood cells, her white blood cell count is low. Mm, let's be informed y'all. Yeah. All right. The white blood cells are part of the immune system. Chemotherapy kills the immune system. Hmm. All right. So the white blood cells are there to, um, against harmful bacteria and viruses. White blood cells search for, attack, and destroy germs to keep you healthy. So if chemo has attacked the white blood cells because it's so powerful, and if your immune system, if your white blood cell counts was already low, then what happens when the chemo comes in? It tries to wipe you out, but you won't be wiped out. Oh, oh, by the power of Almighty God, you will not be wiped out. But what you will do is begin to eat nutrient rich foods to build your white blood cells back up. All right. White blood cells are a key part of your immune system. There are many white blood cell types in your immune system. Each cell type either circulates in your bloodstream and throughout your body or resides in a particular tissue waiting to be called into action. Each cell type has a specific mission in your body's defense system. Each has a different way of recognizing a problem, communicating with other cells on the defense team and performing their function. Doesn't it sound like the prayer team at church? You know, you have. A lot of people think that the in intercessors, that's a calling, but it's not. It's just a calling for all of us that's a part of the body of Christ. But have you ever been around somebody that's so sensitive? And I, I've been there sometimes. It depends on how much I've been fasting or how much I've, time I spent with God. But to me, this these white blood cells are like the prayer team, the mothers in the church. They have eyes that can see past what most people can see. And that's why when you can see past what most people can see, you 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 extend them grace because you can see a little bit further than what most people can see. And so you don't get offended so easily because you have the ability to see. Oh, I see. I see. I see what's behind that. So I know it's not you operating in it. You just yield yourself to it. You see. So the prayer team is there to in the church to pray against the radicals and, and those free radicals that want to take control of other members. That's, that's what the prayer team is there for. And that's what white blood cells are in the body for. I, I like, I like for things to be broken down for me that I can understand. Listen at this lymph nodes. Now see 
when the cancer was in my body, it was in, they removed 16 lymph nodes from under my arm. If you go back to other episodes, you'll see that I have the chart. I call it my friend. I'm not going to go and get it for sake of time because it is late and there are things that I have to do with my husband and I have to go to bed. I got to got to go to work tomorrow, but I did want to share this with y'all because I'm really giving some good information today and I know I am because we want to know who we are, how we can have victory, how we can take care of this magnificent machine that God created and put in our hands. He said, I'm giving you this. I want you to take care of this for me because when my spirit comes to live in you, then he can function through you the way that he needs to. That's why it's spirit, soul, and body. Yeah, yeah. And I want to say, hey, L2W women, um, Minister Rhonda and Minister Leisha, who invited me to be on their um, Zoom meeting. I believe it was either Monday or Tuesday night. Y'all, I don't remember that. It was either Monday or Tuesday night of this week. Oh, it was Monday. And I'm going to tell y'all the attack that came. I mean, even in the midst of the meeting of us talking about God, there was somebody that um, the host did not know and invited them in. And you know what they came in with? Full blown pornography. I mean, literally body parts, bottoms out, um, the sexual activity. It was I, I had to go off. Because what they were trying to do was get me, I, I, they couldn't get me unmuted. I couldn't get unmuted. I unmuted, but they couldn't hear me. So when we all came back in, it, it was really um, a, lot of, a lot of distractions going on. But you know what? We persevered. We pushed through. And the women got the information that could help them to seek out more information. See, I don't know it all, but on, on your Google search, on your computer, they have put in so much good information and you have to ask the spirit of God, is this correct? Is this not correct? See, like when they wanted to use the example of the vaccines, because a lot of times people want to give us vaccines and some vaccines are good for some people, but they're not good for everybody. I'm, I'm going to say that. Because everybody's system is just a little bit different. What we've been putting in our system, those vaccines may not work for us. Some people have had strokes from this last vaccine. Some people are having terrible problems in their body from this last vaccine. So I just want us to know, let's build our immune system up. What One part of the immune system is the white blood cells. The lymph nodes is another part. It says the small glands filter and destroy germs so they can spread to other parts of your body and make you sick. They also are part of your body's lymphatic system. Lymph nodes contain immune cells that analyze the foreign invaders brought into your body. Then they activate, replicate, and send the specific lymphocytes. White blood cells are in the lymphatic system. Lymphocytes white blood cells y'all oh jesus to fight off that particular invader you have hundreds of lymph nodes all over your body including your neck armpits groin swollen tender lymph nodes are a clue that your body is fighting an infection haven't you felt that before though you 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 um like i remember when i got the chicken pox at 30 years old my oldest son had the t chicken, box, chicken pox, and they were dormant in him. I remember that. And he, when they came out of his body, I got the chicken pox at 30. But I remember, um, I was working at a bridal shop at the time, and I remember just this achy feeling. You ever got that achy feeling right, um, right behind your ear, right like in your, up under your jawline, and it just aches, and it's like a throbbing. I found out after um, I was diagnosed with cancer that it was the lymph nodes, that that throbbing is those lymph nodes, those white blood cells are at work fighting for you. You know, when there's a literal fight, when there's a literal war, there's pain. 
if you if you ever been slapped, if you've ever been hit, if you've ever been pushed, if you've ever fallen and and um gotten bruised, if you've ever cut yourself, those those white blood cells are going to the rescue. But inside they can't come they can't come out of your body and do the work outside. So they're doing it and we feel it. But it's actually the lymph nodes, the lymphatic system, uh, the lymphocytes, which is the white blood cells that are going in and fighting for you. That's why we eat clean. That's why we do these juice episodes. I'm telling y'all, so many people are telling me you're doing too much. You, you are, um, you, you putting too much on your plate. I want to tell y'all that this one thing right here, I have to do it. I don't think y'all understand my passion here. I don't think y'all really get it because somebody else needs to know about these videos. Somebody else needs to know that there's an answer and there's a cure for everything that you are struggling with, everything that you've been given a prescription medication for that gives you side effects. But I promise you, the God that I serve, every seed, every nut, every fruit, every vegetable, every meat, every grain, every piece of seafood that's edible, that he said you can have that, heals a part of the body. And this body is a machine that works together like a clock. Every part works together. Have you ever seen a clock where it has all of the components and and they have the they have the links and they have the different parts and it just when it's moving those parts have to work together also we can see what time it is well if people have come up with clocks that do that if people have come up with computers that can a person can key in or scan books and then it just comes up all we have to do is type in a word like lymphatic system don't you know that this body, that the skin is protecting the veins and the lymph nodes and the cells and the tissues and the organs? Mm. That's what we work hard to take care of. That's what I am here to do. That's why I'm here. That's why I came. I believe, and I will say this boldly. Perhaps I was born for such a time as this. Yeah. 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 That's a, I bought that sign for myself the other day too, but okay. Uh, your spleen. Your spleen stores white blood cells that defend your body from foreign invaders. It also filters your blood, destroying old and damaged red blood cells. Yeah. Tonsils and adenoids, because they are located in your throat and nasal passage, tonsils and adenoids can trap foreign invaders, for example, bacteria or viruses, as soon as they enter your body. I said that. They have immune cells, and you know what? And these things get swollen and infected. And then they give us anti, what is that? Um, I can't even think of it right now. Because I have, I, I have not been able to take that either. Um, but I know that I can eat the watermelon seeds and it will help me with fight off whatever. Um, what? I don't even know what it's called, y'all. Y'all have to forgive me today. Uh, but it is what the doctors give you when you have an infection. And they're trying to get the infection out of the body. So they give you antibodies, anti no, I don't know. I, I can't. Lord have mercy. Y'all forgive me. It'll come to me in a minute because I can hear y'all just shouting it out right now. But anyway, um, I haven't had them in a while because when those things get in your system, they actually also, they um, kill your immune system as well. And I, and I was addicted to them because whenever I got a sinus infection, I would call my doctor and I'd say, can you send me in a prescription? I just have a sinus infection. Can you send me in a uh, prescription? for the antibiotics. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And those anti, they go in and they actually destroy the gut biome. And then you have to eat lots of yogurt, 
drink kefir, eat a lot of sauerkraut, eat a lot of fermented foods, eat pickles to get your gut biome back in check so that you're, it's starting to help the immune system as well. Um, the, your tonsils and adenoids, they have immune cells that produce antibodies. See, the body's already producing antibiotics or antibodies to protect you from foreign invaders that cause throat and lung infections. Remember bron bronchitis or uh, what is that? Pneumonia, that's a lung infection. Yeah. Asthma, that's a type of lung infection. The thymus gland. This small organ in your upper chest beneath your breastbone helps mature a certain type of white blood cell. The specific task of this cell is to learn to recognize and remember an invader so that an attack can be quickly mounted the next time this invader is encountered. So the body has a memory system in it called the thymus gland. Listen, y'all, I'm telling the more I learn, the more I I'm telling y'all what, okay, okay, father, I got to go and get my friend, but I'm telling y'all what, the father is so brilliant that if we don't think that God is real, we actually, um, man, I'm telling y'all, we, we are really in trouble if we don't think that the God that we serve is real. So let me see where my friend can go. I tell y'all what, I am going to move this juicer so that I can bring my friend over here. Y'all give me a second while I get myself together. And because I really want us to get this, the show is, we're already at 36 minutes. So yeah, but I do want us to get an understanding of what's going on in our bodies. Okay. Because if we don't know, then how can we protect ourselves, right? Whew, because we, we, we were getting basic information, but now God is saying we got to go to another level, right? Mm. Raspberries always smell like sweet perfume to me. So I'm going to, yep, there we are. So look, the thymus gland is right here. Can y'all see that? So that, our, our middle bone, I guess it's called the clavicle. I don't know. But here we are. This is our chest right here. So the thymus gland is right here. Look at that coming through the digestive tract. That thymus gland is right there. Let me see if I can find the spleen. So basically, this is part of the, the lymphatic system because you have lymph nodes. You have the thoriatic duct, the spleen right there. So the spleen is actually, let me see on the opposite side of your liver in the body. But there's the spleen, guys. And so, but wait a minute, let me come back. Let me come back. Tonsils. This is a part, this is the immune system here. So this is the part when you do take chemo, this, all of these, all of these systems are actually being destroyed. So then you're not able to fight off anything, right? Mm. Uh, I'm telling y'all, this is, I don't know about you, but this is really good information for me. Um, the thymus, this small organ in your upper chest beneath your breastbone helps mature a certain type of white blood cell. The specific task of this cell is to learn to recognize and remember an invader, remember an invader, remember an invader. You know, that's why when people say, and, and I guess with this, I'm learning so much, I'm learning about life, but when people say, um, I will forgive you, but I won't forget. That's just a part of how we're made up. We can remember if somebody says, but you, you remembered, or you keep bringing it up. That may be because if, if a person keeps bringing something up, it's because it's not resolved. They've not healed. They've not taken that to God. I, I sent a, a short video clip out today, this morning to people who I send videos to, I meant to say good morning greetings to and i realized that that video never uploaded and that's all i was saying some people they it's not i don't believe it's people's intention to hurt you or do mean things or say mean things 
For some, it might be, but I really don't believe that there's something else going on with the person when they keep lashing out. And it's in the body of Christ, if we don't go to God and allow him to heal us, I mean, really just sit with him and be quiet. Don't say nothing except, Lord, I love you, but I need to be healed here. This thing is bothering me. I didn't think it was, but I keep popping off. I keep being offended easily. I keep certain things keep coming up. God, I'm going to come to you, but I'm going to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then, then we have bone marrow. Stem cells in the spongy center of your bones develop into red blood cells, plasma cells, and a variety of white blood cells and other types of immune cells. Your bone marrow makes billions of new blood cells every day and releases them into your bloodstream. Did y'all hear that? Our bone marrow makes billions of new blood cells every day and releases them into our bloodstream. The skin, the mucous membranes, and other first line defenses. Your skin is the first line of defense in preventing and destroying germs before they enter your body. Y'all, listen, listen to me. I have a very dear friend that was diagnosed with cancer a couple of years ago. She went through the, she went through the chemo. She did everything, rang the bell, whatever that means. Cause I didn't go through that process. And, and they told her you're good. Yay. And we did all the tests and it's gone. We got it. Chemo got it. A couple of years later, it showed back up. So now they have her on, not the, um, what is that? The port with the chemo. But now they've added another thing. They're giving her the chemo pill. Well, if if a part of the immune system is is the uh, first line of defense, y'all know that that chemo therapy not only it has turned her skin as if she's been in a fire, it has lifted the first layer of skin off that she can't wear certain shoes. She can't move about. It's lifted the first layer, that fine layer of skin. It's lifted it off. The devil is a liar. We need to be able to make informed decisions. But I am believing that those of us who don't really believe this is true, I'm believing that God removes the blinders off of your eyes. Because he created an amazing machine and he did not create this machine for you to put it in somebody else's hands. He gave you full control. In this season in our life, we have the right to make the choices for our life. And we need to spend more time with God to build up our faith. We need to spend more time speaking in tongues, our heavenly language to build up ourselves in our most holy faith. That's Jude 20. We have to do that because if we don't build up ourselves, I heard a preacher say one time, that's why you got to be careful who feeds you. He said, a lot of y'all speak in tongues so much because you don't know what to say in English. No, the word of God says, pray in tongues. Paul even said, I wish y'all prayed in tongues more. I pray in tongues more than you all. Meaning, I wish you all would pray in tongues as much as I do. See, when we come to God, he gives us the equipment that we need so that when hard times come, he's already built us up. He's built up our spiritual immune system with praying in tongues. So listen to me. I'm begging y'all. Pray in the spirit. Ask God to take the blinders off of your eyes if you don't believe that he created a body and he left the foods in the earth to maintain that body. But somebody is attacking not just the immune system in the physical body, but somebody now is trying to attack the immune system in the body of Christ. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. We need to get our spiritual insight tuned up. We need to get in position because the enemy is trying to invade. And God is saying, I need my warriors. Get on the wall. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Skin produces oils and secretes other protective immune system cells. Mucous membranes line the respiratory, digestive, urinary, and reproductive tracts. Mucous membranes does that. These membranes secrete mucus, which lubricates and moistens surfaces. Germs stick to mucus in the respiratory tract and then are removed out of the airwaves by hair-like structures called cilia. God, you are so amazing. Glory to your precious name. Tiny hairs in your nose catch germs. Enzymes found in sweat, tears, saliva, and mucous membranes, as well as secretions in the vagina, all defend and destroy germs. Mm. Who God, we need to know that there's an enemy after the human body. Come on, y'all. I'm, I'm just trying. I'm doing research for us because I wanted to know what did I do to myself that caused cancer to grow in my body? I had to not lie to myself that I did something to me. What about you? That's all this show is about. It's about you. Come on, y'all. God is calling us somewhere. And God is calling us because he's saying there is something about to hit. If your immune system is not in check this time, I don't want to see nobody die before their time. And I also want us to get our own immune system up so that we can begin to pray against this spirit that was released in the earth. I asked the question the other day. I'm going somewhere right now. I'm going to take a little bunny trail. But I asked the question, and I've asked a lot of people, when was the transaction when did that transaction take place that most of us missed? When was there a transference in the spirit from us being attacked by the KKK, the Ku Klux Klan? When did that transaction take place? When was there a transference of a death sentence that now the KKK no longer has to kill off black men? There was a transference somewhere in the spirit that our black men, our black youth, have turned on each other. The new KKK. Kids killing kids. Y'all, we are not watching. We have to be able to make an informed decision in prayer. But if we can't even make informed decisions about the body, that God made this body. And he made the body of Christ to be able to come together and stand together and do warfare and lock arms. But because we are so sick and diseased in our bodies that we can't come together and walk in unity. See, that's where the wars come in. That's where fighting comes in. That's where families can't get along. Because if we cannot come together as a family to fight off what's fighting our family, then how will we go in and fight? to defend somebody that doesn't have a defense system, that doesn't have an immune system. God, I thank you for that. I just heard the Spirit of God say, my church is the immune system for the world, for the black kids and the white kids that's out there, for children that are out there, that are taking their lives because there's bullies. Where's the immune system in the body of Christ? See, I, I did not know I was going to go this way in dealing with our natural immune system. But I think it's time for a lot of us where we are under attack and we're so sensitive about what somebody did or what somebody said that we need to take care of this immune system so that we can all lock arms. Put all of that stuff aside. So what? Because somebody said something to you that you don't like or did something that you don't like. Where are we in our line of defense? For the next generation. The stomach and bowels. Stomach acid kills many bacteria soon after they enter your body. You also have beneficial good bacteria in your intestines that kill harmful bacteria. And I believe that is it for my, my research. 
but that was a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and I don't know how much I'm going to look at the clock, but I am going to tell y'all the benefits of this juice. All right. We do have a little bit of time, but I'm going to go quickly because there is one thing that I want to tell us about the lemons, the delimonene, which it comes in supplement form. You actually can get a pill called delimonene, which is a supplement. And I'm going to tell y'all the benefits of the delimonene, which I've already told y'all. It's the oil that's on the skin of the lemon. And what I'm suggesting to those of us who are just starting on our program to detox the body, because that's basically what needs to take place. We're starting to juice so that we can get the body ready to change the taste buds. But what I've stopped doing, I don't even drink my warm lemon water anymore. I just cut a slice of that lemon and I eat the whole thing except the seed. I eat the skin. I eat that white membrane that's around the lemon. I actually eat the pulp of the lemon because all of that, I need it all. You need it all because it raises your pH. It protects your immune system. Okay, grapefruit. Um, grapefruit is fiber rich food, can reduce inflammation and ease high blood pressure. It helps with constipation and encourages beneficial bacteria growth. We're talking about the immune system. The immune system has bacteria in the stomach, healthy bacteria that fights off sickness and disease. Uh, it, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a coming together. It's like a puzzle, but all of the pieces work. What, what does the Bible say? Fitly joined together. All of this that goes on inside of our system fitly joins together and serves a purpose. And it's all to keep us alive. It's all to keep us alive. So if we are the immune system for the world, if we are the immune system for our family, if we are there to fight off invaders, bacteria, sickness, sores, putrefying sores that come in to eat up our family, to eat at our children, to eat at our grandchildren, to eat at our brothers and our sisters. Would we not want to get on the wall and begin to pray even more? See, sometimes when you go through a battle, when you go through warfare, and if you don't come out sitting at God's feet, at the feet of Jesus, waiting on the Holy Spirit to tell you, you were wrong in what you did, you need to apologize. Listen, once you do that, then there's a download that comes to you. How would I be able to connect all of this? See, I had to apologize. I had to tell somebody, I'm sorry for what I said. Please forgive me. Because I want the best that God has for both of us. But I also had to tell somebody this on today. Because when, I, when my husband got sick, it was a very frightening time for me. And it... I really thought I didn't know if my husband was going to make it. You see, my husband's lungs had failed him to the point that he could not, he didn't have enough oxygen in his lungs that he could stand up to walk to the car for me to take him to the hospital. I didn't know if my husband was going to live. And I called on somebody that I thought was going to be a support system to me because not only was I battling with my praying and worrying about my husband, but I also had taken a hit from one of my children because they weren't happy with the decision that my husband and I had made. I can share it now, but I want to tell you all this. I had to let somebody know I did not realize because I've never been this way before. I didn't know how I was going to react, didn't know what I needed. And I reached out for strength from somebody. And they hit me hard. They said something that was ugly. And it hurt me because I'm reaching out to you. Look past my approach with it. Because you're supposed to be close to me. And I, didn't, I haven't talked to them since May 8th. And so today, I told them, I said, I forgive you. And the thing that I understand now is you don't have the capacity to help me when I'm in trouble. But it took me to go through that to see. That's why, and I wasn't mad with him, but it, I had to process that. I had to get wisdom from God with that. Everybody can't handle you. Everybody can't handle me. And you've got to understand that. 
everybody can't be in the same space, in the same place in your life because everybody has not matured to be able to be in that place in the seasons in your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is a heavy show tonight, but I'm going to watch this one myself because it's good for me. Um, eating the, the um, grapefruits helps to lower your cholesterol. Why? Because it's a fiber rich food, but it also has, um, it's a lipoprotein and it keeps that cholesterol in check. It helps to um, help you with your weight management, has vitamin C, vitamin A. Uh, let's see, what else does it do for you? It helps your diabetes. Grapefruits help burn fat. I need a lot of that. I wish you could rub it on your belly so you could get rid of the belly fat. Because mm. I'm telling y'all, I'm doing my sit-ups. I told y'all that. And it seems like it's got to work. It's got to work. Something's got to work here. All right. Um, and me not eating late at night. Because right now it's 9.35 p.m. And... I haven't had dinner. So guess what? I'm going to have to eat something very light. I made bone broth Sunday. So I think I'm just going to drink some bone broth and just tell myself, calm down and just go to sleep. Yeah, I think because I've been hitting y'all a little bit heavy and I don't want to, um, I don't want to seem too heavy, but listen at this y'all. So we know the benefits of lemons. They, it's a citric acid, um, the most abundant or organic acid in lemons, citric acid, may help prevent the formation of kidney stones. It's a high antioxidant, which is hesperidin, um, may strengthen your blood vessels and prevent atherosclerosis, the buildup of fatty deposits inside your arteries. Diosmine, um, an antioxidant used in some drugs that affect the circulatory system. Diosmine improves muscle tone. Now, this is in the lemon, the diosmine that they put in certain drugs. Um, I don't know what drugs they put it in, but I do know this. Just eat your lemon slice three times a day if you are feeling sick, if you haven't done things to take care of yourself. Just slice off a thin slice and eat that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's, let's take that whole lemon in. Um, but the, the diosmine uh, improves muscle tone and reduces chronic inflammation in your blood vessels. We just read about the immune system in the skin, in the bowels, in the stomach that goes in and takes care of the bacteria. The, it, the blood is recycled every day in the immune system, in that, those white blood cells, those red blood cells. But listen at this, the lemon lean found primarily in the pill. That's why I say eat the pill because in my research, I found out that the lemon lean is a major constituent in several citrus oils because that's what the oil is called in the lemon, in the lemon peel. The lemon lean, including orange peel, lemon peel, mandarin peel, lime peel, and grapefruits. We got lemon and grapefruit here, but check out what it happened, what, ha what it does. It has antimicrobial, anti inflammatory, and anti cancer effects. Eat your lemons. Eat your lemons, y'all. Eat your lemons. Build up your immune system. Fight for your own body. Be intentional about what you pick up and put in your body. Because of its pleasant citrus fragrance, it is widely used as a flavoring and fragrance additive in perfumes, soaps, foods, chewing gum, and beverages. However, its real power lies in its ability to help the digestive tract. The lemon is also a cholesterol solvent and has been used to dissolve cholesterol containing gallstones when taken as a supplement. But what if you don't take it as a supplement? What if you just take fresh lemon, cut a slice, eat the peel, eat the fiber, eat the pulp, suck on the juice and digest it all? You don't have to take a supplement. Your supplement is going to the grocery store, making a intentional decision to get two bags of lemons so that you can give some to somebody, slice them up, take them to work. No, don't put it in your water and throw the peel away. No, this is your medicine for today. Mm. 
All right. It also coats and protects the gut and promotes normal movement of the upper digestive tract. Clinical studies have shown that it is useful for relieving heartburn and GERD. While these studies are promising, delimiline alone isn't enough to treat GERD, but we're just talking about raising the pH levels when we eat our lemons so that we can feel better. I'm going to move on, guys, um, because we did have raspberries in this juice. We had grapefruit in the juice, We've already, and we got pineapple. We talked about pineapples before, so I'm just going to do the quick version of the benefits of the pineapples. Pineapples have vitamin C, manganese. Um, manganese is one of the minerals that we talked about. Remember, manganese helps with bone formation, immune response, immune response, immune response, immune response, metabolism. Um, the, the vitamin C in the pineapples help fight cancer, heart disease, and arthritis. Fiber in the pineapple is necessary to help you to feel full, um, to fight off hunger. The B vitamins in the pineapple are thiamine, niacin, B6, and folate. These nutrients help your body process energy from the food you eat. They're also critical to forming new red blood cells, which carry oxygen to your organs and tissues. And there are various minerals. The pineapple contains several minerals your body needs for proper function, including copper, potassium, and magnesium. Right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's the pineapple. And let me see if I can find raspberries right quick. I will talk about the raspberry. If I can't find the raspberries quickly, then I am not going to, what's that stuff? PQ, PQ, aura. Raspberry should be pretty close, right? That is pomegranates, polyphenols, pineapples. Ooh, y'all, I can't find in my book. You would think that I would have it a little bit more organized. But you know what? I can't find it. Why can't I find it? Mm, I don't know. Well, I'm not going to give you all the benefits of the raspberries because it would take more time for me to find it. I must have pulled the sheet out and now I don't know what I did with it. But this has been an amazing class and I'm not done because I do want to tell you all about the minerals. Today we're going to talk about um, there are trace minerals, although needed in only minute amounts. Trace minerals are essential for many biochemical processes. Often it is a single atom of a trace mineral incorporated into a complex protein that gives the compound its specific characteristics. Iron as a part of the hemoglobin molecule, for example, or a trace mineral as the distinguishing component of a specific enzyme. So iron is the um, com leading component of a specific enzyme. These trace minerals are components of a specific enzymes. We need enzymes in the gut. Okay. Boron, needed for healthy bones. Boron is found in fruits, especially apples, leafy greens, vegetables, nuts, and grains. Boron is needed for healthy bones. Chromium, essential for glucose metabolism. Chromium is needed for blood sugar regulation as well as for the synthesis of cholesterol, fats, and proteins. Most Americans are deficient in chromium because they eat so many refined carbohydrates. That's car those carbs that put the pounds on, you know, refined are um, like what? Um, white flour products, macaroni, spaghetti, those things that are not um, nutrient rich because the nutrients have been pulled from them. Uh, but th listen at what you can get. You're deficient in chromium because we eat so many refined carbohydrates. But listen at this. The best sources are animal products. So I fix beef Sunday. And this is one of the seasonings that I put on it. Molasses. I drizzle molasses over my beef ribs. So we got chromium in the beef and in the molasses. Nuts. I had Brazil nuts today. See, I'm trying, uh, y'all, I'm trying to go back to what I once did because I want to live a long time. I want to see my grandchildren's children, children. I do. I do. I really do. And I, and I want them to say, man, like people say, God, you, you look good for your age. I want to, I want to take care of myself. What about you? Come on, y'all. Let's take care of ourselves. 
Um, another way we can get chromium in the body um, is whole wheat, eggs, and vegetables. Cobalt, and I'm going to stop at copper, but I'm going to do cobalt. This mineral works with copper to promote assimilation of iron. A cobalt atom resides in the center of the B12 molecule. As the best sources are animal products, cobalt deficiency occurs most frequently in vegetarians. So you got to take a supplement, right? Because, you know, you, you choose not to eat meat. That's your choice. This is your body. God didn't give you your body for somebody else to tell you what to do with it. So I can't tell you what to do with it, but I am telling you the benefits of these minerals. And if you're lacking that because you're not eating certain things, then go get a supplement so that you can get cobalt. Copper needed for the formation of bone, hemoglobin, and red blood cells. Copper also pr promotes healthy nerves, a healthy immune system, and collagen formation. Copper works in balance with zinc and vitamin C. Along with manganese, magnesium, and iodine, copper plays an important role in memory and brain function. Nuts, molasses, and oats contain copper, but liver is the best and most easily assimilated source. Liver. 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 Liver helps brain function. Liver. Calf liver. Beef liver chicken livers, you know, I'm going to tell you in my community, we love some fried gizzards, fried chicken livers. See, didn't even know. You're thinking, man, I can't eat that. Go get you some liver. Put some onions over it. Stir fry it in your coconut oil. Make you a little bit of gravy with some almond flour. Get you some brown rice. Throw down on that with some collard greens. Yeah, yeah. It's not that difficult, y'all. Okay, all right. Huh. Copper deficiency is widespread in America. Animal experiments indicate that copper deficiency combined with high fructose consumption has particularly deleterious effects on infants and growing children. Guys, I want to say, I'm going to lean into the camera. We're at 57 minutes and 17 seconds, so we will do an hour. But I want to say to y'all, I'm not doing this just for myself. I'm really doing it for us. We're a family. We're part of a bigger picture. And what God wants us to do is come together, take care of us first so that we can take care of somebody else, so that we can help somebody else. Because if we don't mature, if the lessons that we're learning in life make us bitter, then we have basically disconnected ourselves, and we really need each other. We really need each other. Just like every part of this body is fitly joined together, that's how God wants the body, us to be as people. So now that we know, now that you know, go have a good day. Because it is a good day to have a good day. Because you have a little bit more knowledge to work your way through whatever it is that was standing in the door of your way. Take care of your health. Stop lying to yourself that you can eat what you want to eat and still feel good. That's Einstein calls that insanity, that you keep doing the same thing but expecting different results. We can't do that, guys. So I want y'all to have a good day. Have a fantastic weekend. Enjoy yourself. Pray. Pray in tongues. Pray over your family. Pray for people that have hurt you. Pray for people that you don't want to pray for. Pray for them anyway, because you never know your prayers. It, the word says the prayers of the righteous availeth much. So if we're praying for people, then we're doing what God wants us to do. Yeah. Bye, y'all. Have a fantastic weekend. As I say to my sisters, smooches.